Hi guys, this is Laurel. How are you doing? Um, you'll notice that I'm a little hoarse. <laughs> you'll have to bear with me today. I've got a bit of a cold that I'm getting over, but it's just taking a while. Um, so I just wanted to show you this month's bullet journal for March 2018. So um, I'm just going to show you some things that I um, did in the last part of February that I didn't get to show you. Um, I'm taking the Rock Your Mind, Rocky, sorry, Rock Your Journal Mastermind class from Erin Nichols at the Petite Planner. If you've been watching my channel for a little bit now, you know that I really like her her blog and her um, the, her content. And so um, I'm, I'm I'm finished with the class. I just have to finish posting in the Facebook group for that. But I just wanted to show you the pages that I did. Um, this one we were supposed to write our name with a bunch of different lettering styles. I'm really liking this one here and I'm thinking I should do that on one of my spreads um, in March. And then we were supposed to doodle some beach items. So this is this was my attempt at doodling beach things this month for February. And then this was my um, my practice at doing different kinds of banners and I was really pleased with the way those came out. Aaron's instruction was really great. Oops. And then we were with the next one was doing some leaves and foliage and flowers, which I really thought was a, was a fun assignment as well. <clears throat> do a collection spread like a different um, not a, not necessarily um, a weekly but just a different kind of page spread so I did date night ideas since my husband and I are always trying to figure out what we want to do and not always succeeding so I thought well, I'd just make up a list of um, things we could do and add some drawings to it so I, that's pretty good and then this was the last this was last week the last week in February the first part of March my weekly spread and then this is my February memories and this was like this was um I did this for my last assignment in the Rocky Air Journal Mastermind class um using this title treatment that I learned to do which was really fun and I will go ahead and put Erin's class the link to our class down in the description bar if you want to check out that for yourself I think it's really worthwhile for the price that you pay and then we're into this month so what I did was, <clears throat> this month I did go, instead of just plopping in those calendar sheets that I normally plop, plop in, you know the ones that I did up for you guys as freebies. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link you that video and I will, uh, so you can find the freebies if you want that I made. But um, I tried just drawing um, individual squares instead of a grid which I kind of really like this so I'm not sure if I'm going to draw this out again or create something that I can plop in but I just went ahead and I, I drew some doodles that I learned in the class and then found just a, with a, a quote and um, just a different layout so that was um, that was kind of fun to try a new layout and a different challenge and then we're on this week's spread so I'm just keeping, whoops, sorry, I'm just keeping the format simple as I normally do. Just doodled in some tulips and I added just some wavy lines this time because I didn't want everything to be just all straight and uh, straight lines. I wanted some visual interest so I just kept that one pretty simple. So um, that's what I have done as, as up to now. This is a short and sweet video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about anything, just give me a holler either by throwing a comment down below or um, sending me an email or contact me on social media. Alright you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye!